What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is the King and I Life podcast, hosted by myself, Soul Touch of the Poet, and my brother, Son Soul X, in his joint. Check it out. Hit us up www.kingandilife.com for all our podcast info. Subscribe to whatever podcast platform that you choose. Also, hit us up k i n g a n d e y e three six nine at gmail.com. Email us your suggestions, your feedback, and all that good stuff. Tune in to us live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And make sure you like, subscribe, and share because we are all over all those social media platforms. Stay tuned for the good stuff. Yeah, we out. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, once again, it is the King and I Life podcast hosted by myself, so touch of the poet and my brother. Son Soul X. Hey, YouTube or the audio, take your pick, swap and switch, like, subscribe, share, <laughs> hit the bell notifications and comment and all that good stuff. Uh, Son Soul X, what's up? Again, you guys, you know what it is, man. We are here on that email. Hit us up. If you want to come on the platform, chop it up with us. We would love to have you on. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, so yeah, let's jump back into this conversation. Living in different uh, cultures or countries, um, even states, because hey, states have different cultures and they seem like different countries depending on which yes, one they you do. go to. <laughs> I mean, um, I'm, I'm here from the south, and there are some states that their slang is so much different than mine. Mm. I'm like, what did you say? <laughs> yeah. Say that again? Yeah. You know, the funny thing about that is, um, again, I'm from New York, but I've been so many places that people say I sound country. <laughs> wow. I do not have my New York accent, but I still say some words like I'm from up there, but for the most mm. part, my accent is gone. Gone 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 yeah and it, it's crazy because sometimes i guess it depends on who i'm uh hanging out with at the time because some people you know that come here from the south they were like you don't sound like you're from here mm-hmm. and then sometimes people are like man you know you sound real country right now like <laughs> I, just who i'm hanging out with my my accent seem to uh, adapt to my surroundings but it's all good. It's all love. Yeah, and and another thing is like when you are around the people that you from your birthplace, regardless of how long you've been gone from there, it's like when you talking with them people that are from where you from, you can sometimes feel your your native tongue coming back a little bit. Right. Um and it's wild how that works because I've I've been around people from certain places and it's like, you know, they get around people that are from where they're from and it's like, oh, I hear it. I, I, I hear it. <laughs> well, I was like, I remember when I was in uh, high school and I moved back for my last year, uh, my senior year, because I hadn't lived up north for so long. My... Uh, actual way of speaking i talk so fast mm-hmm. people are like what'd you say say that mm-hmm. again mm-hmm. so it's kind of like i had to slow down my speech and adapt to you know their way of speaking you know from the south and right again that's that's where i'm at now for the most part but mm-hmm. when i go to different places it, it tends to change and i guess that's just something we as military brats we picked up yeah yeah I think um, some of the people who, in my experience, that do not lose their accent at all are people from Baltimore. Um, And I say that because when I was in Germany, I met this chick from, I want to say she was from Heidelberg. And she was talking. And the way they say dog, they Mm -hmm. say Doug. 
And it's like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you see that Doug over there? I'm like, that's a dog. That's what I said. I said Doug. <laughs> like, what? What the what is a Doug? And and any any word that has OG on it, like log, fog, dog, bog, any word with that that pronunciation mm-hmm. is ug. So it could be dug, fug, lug. <laughs> um and 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 when you hear them say that in a sentence, you'd be like, what are they talking about? What is a fug? It's a cigarette, a fog. And it's like, uh, uh, um, I give up. But yeah. I say that to say, when I met that chick in Bal- in, in in Germany, mm-hmm. and I heard her talking like that, then to come to Maryland in 95 and go hang out in Baltimore, when I heard them say that, she was the first thing that came to mind. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Couldn't understand it. But <laughs> just like, yo. <laughs> With that. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, the Middle East, Caribbean, Europe, and South America. Um, those are all places I, I still have not. Well, Europe I've been in. No, I mean, South you just America, came from the Middle East. Yeah. South America, I haven't gone to yet. And that's well, you've been to Costa I... Rica. Well, true. <laughs> Damn it. I, I guess but, but I the, have but, been on all of them. Yes, but I, I threw those up there because I wanted to discuss the culture differences like in each place, like the Middle East. Um, like when I was in, I can't use Iraq and, and uh, Kuwait too much because I was on, you know, full military grind but mm-hmm. when i went to Qatar, which is in the uh what is that persian gulf area and it's a tiny little country that sticks out in the persian gulf mm-hmm. um so i went there for a weekend pass beautiful place i mean beautiful um went to a restaurant that was on the persian gulf and like it was right there on the water you look in the water the water's clear blue um they had a lot of american stores they had a mall they had a i remember seeing oshkosh bigosh and a whole bunch of other things um but the thing about over there is um and i know that you experienced this in uh dubai you know when you're taking pictures don't take pictures of the people Um, right because they feel some type of way about that. Um, and when they told us that, I was like, huh? <laughs> it was like, what do you mean? Um, it just blew my mind. And me, being a typical American, I'm like, shit, I'm going to sneak and take a picture of this joke because I just you know, want a picture. Mm-hmm. Um, but I took a lot of pictures of the country and all that stuff. But I mean, you know, it's different over there. It's real different. Um, again, the food is is that much better over there. Um, oh, the air is that much better over there from what I experienced. Um, so, so talk more about um, you know your your experience with the culture in Dubai. You know when you were just over there. Um, as far as you know, the people that I encounter. Mostly people over there are all about, like I said, about their business. Mm-hmm. Meaning, you know, they'll you'll pass by them on the street. They might look at you. They might not. Mm-hmm. It, it just depends on, you know, what they got going on. But from what I gather, they are all about, you know, let me mind my own business. Right. <laughs> Meaning, uh, I don't really care what you got going on. If we're not crossing paths like that, then I have no reason to partake in whatever it is you got going on. Right. Uh, again, as far as conflicts and uh, situational drama, I saw absolutely none. Mm. Like, 
one particular situation, um, this guy pulled into a parking spot right next to the hotel that I was at. Um, and there was like a parking garage right there. Mm -hmm. But the security guard came out and asked him to move. And it was like, no problem. Like, he moved immediately. Wow. And I'm like, yeah, nah, that was in my country. There, there's going to be some kickback. Oh, but, uh, gosh. Um, and then when we went to the desert, it was just so freaking quiet and peaceful. And really? I thought to myself, this is something right out of the movie Doom or the series Doom. Mm. Like you could really just sit there and hear absolutely nothing. Unfortunately, because of the other people I would, you know, I heard all of them and their right. crap. But <laughs> when I actually had a chance to just sit and observe the desert, it was so mm. freaking beautiful and quiet and peaceful and serene. I was like, man, I could see why people of this country love the desert. Mm -hmm. um, we're asking one of the guys that was driving us around, like, how many animals do you actually see in the desert? And he was like, well, I've been doing this for about eight years, and I've only seen one snake and one uh, scorpion. That's it? That's it. He said, that's all you ever saw out there. I was like, wow. Mm. Um, but the people are, they're nice. I'm not going to say they're, you know, like, totally friendly. Mm -hmm. But if you ask, you know, for directions or something like that, you know, they'll point you in the right direction. And let you yeah. Okay. That's what's up. Um, of course, they're allowed to have four wives over there, which mm. I, me personally, I thought was cool. <laughs> you know what I'm I thought that was cool as hell. That's up your lane, boy. Yeah, man. Yeah. But um, when we went to the expo, uh, the 2020 expo, because they didn't actually have it in 2020, it was mm -hmm. delayed because of COVID, so they had it. You know, this year, expo. Um, I saw like three wives together, four wives together. Oh, wow. um, one husband, three wives, or two wives, and everything was just kosher. You know, it wasn't like hmm. conflict. It was like everybody right. had a role to play, and they played their role. Um, wow. During the expo, I got a chance to get out and see a lot of the other different countries. Mm -hmm. um, you know, their items on display and things along that line. But it was, I can't say kumbaya, <laughs> <laughs> but it was just that type of vibe over there. Like everybody's just doing their own thing, man, living their own lives, I guess you mm -hmm. could say. That's what's up. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I know when when I was over there, I went out with a group of dudes, and you know we was on a a, a bus tour or whatever the case may be. But when we got off the bus, it's like they looked at us, but they really didn't pay us no damn mind. It's like, okay. Um. And that's totally different from being here because when you go to certain places, you know, in America and, you know, people notice that you look different from, you know, the locals, mm -hmm. they, they looking you up and down and, and seeing what's good with you. Um, but yeah, I think that, I, you know, I want to, I want to definitely visit, visit more places in the Middle East. Um, Dubai is a hot spot. For, yeah. for for visits and stuff like that. But um I definitely want to check it out. Um yeah. One thing I, I will say that I loved about it though is their speed limit is, is anywhere from <laughs> <laughs> uh I wanna say he said a hundred in some mm. areas to 150. And then mm. on the outside of that 150, it's like, go for what you know. Wow. There is no speed limit. And I'm like, dude, to tell me that, 
Mm. And the Let Me Loose with like a Lamborghini and a Ferrari. Oh my goodness, son. <laughs> I'm gonna give it everything she got. But uh, in one particular building, it was like a high rise um, business building that was mm-hmm. not too far from my hotel. There was 12 Lamborghinis in one freaking parking lot out in front of this building. All yeah. different colors, like goddamn Skittles. Are you serious right now? Yes. And there were three Porsches mm. and two of the Lamborghinis were the, the SUVs. Mm. And let's see what else was there. I want to say a couple of our high-end Audis. Mm. But I was like, wow, that's, that's crazy. And then that's I saw wild. two people that looked like us. One of them was in a Rolls Royce, blacked mm-hmm. out. And the other one was in the drop top Lamborghini red. I was like, go ahead, brother. Do y'all thing, man. I ain't mad at it. Was was they was they visiting over there or living over there? I don't know what it was. You know, they're just passing by in traffic, so I'm assuming oh, okay. they were over there either uh for business purposes mm-hmm. or maybe they just had it like that. They were just rent those cars to have fun. Hey. Get it how you live it is what I say. That's it. Yeah. Um, oh, that's what's up though. So, Caribbean. Um, you are or are more well traveled in the Caribbean than I am, because you know, again, I've been there on a cruise. Um, Cozumel, Costa Maya, and Belize, but you know, those were stops, not mm-hmm. full on engulfing the in 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 the culture. So what are your Caribbean, you know, thoughts and stuff like that? The Caribbean, uh again with my wife being from the Bahamas and having a chance to visit over there a couple of times and um being able to meet other people from different cultures from over there. I, I love it. I really do. Um those people are, for lack of a very, a better word, colorful. I mean, <laughs> colorful in a, in a good way, because oh they they don't have all the guards up that we have over here in our country. Mm-hmm. Like they're very, um, if you will, free free hearted or, or free giving. Mm-hmm. Like you could just be walking up the street and be like, "Hey, you want something to eat?" Oh wow. We we cooking over here. You know what I'm saying? So mm. it, it's kinda like one of those environments again from what I've encountered is people just wanna live and enjoy life and you know, I've been just cruising around through the Bahamas, you know, going to different parts of the, the island there. Um no matter where you're from, they, they accept you over there. Mm. You know. Like when they did the expo, and you know my uh, wife's people, they had their own parade. Like the Bahamas had their own parade, mm-hmm. parade, and they just they were showing out, bro. They're showing out. Oh, yeah. I mean, like the drums and the music and the costumes. Like they really did it big, and you know the people that were over there from the Bahamas were showing nothing but support. Mm. Like they they showed up, but go ahead, do your thing. But uh, I didn't get a chance to go to the American Expo mm-hmm. while I was there in Dubai, and I was curious to know what in the world they had in there. But you said in Dubai, yeah. Oh, oh, they had the you know, with the Expo, it's every country from around the world had their own like um building. Where they had their artifacts and they showed movies and had, uh, you know, a lot of their history on display. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, people from the Caribbean, the ones that I've encountered, everybody cooler than a fan, though. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. <sighs> yeah. Um, I liked, um, 
I think of all the stops on that cruise that we went to, out of Cozumel, Costa Maya, and Belize, I think I liked Belize the most. Mm-hmm. Um, but I also liked Costa Maya. Um, but I definitely want to go back to Belize and be able to stay for like a few days or something like that because I just want to. I really want to see how it is um because a lot of the people look like us <laughs> and i was i was like wow okay um but yeah i definitely want to go down there and really experience it and you know just enjoy it take my time um the excursion that we went on um we were we went to a uh went through a cave water that was under the cave we went zip lining and mm-hmm. all this type of stuff but um, the tour guide was telling us that it's not very expensive to live over there. And, but most of the jobs are like you either government or I forgot what else he said, but, um, he said it's not too expensive to live over there. Like you can get a house down there for like, I think he said like 35,000 or something like that. Oh, wow. Um, something, it was something like that. And yeah, like if it came down to, I wouldn't mind buying a property down there, turn it into an Airbnb. I mean, you know, that. that'd be the move. But yeah, uh, but other than that, I really have, I have, you know, I've always been anti-Caribbean, and my reasoning because everybody I know goes to the Caribbean. They always going to somewhere down the Bahamas, Jamaica, Aruba, somewhere. Cayman Islands, Virgin Islands. And it's like, damn, everybody goes there. So it's like, I don't want to go there. But now it's like, man, I need to go ahead and take my ass down there. Like, <laughs> let me just go ahead and knock it out because it's like, I want to go all these far off places that people don't go to because I want to be like, I, well, you went there. Well, I went here. And they'd be like, oh, wow, you went there. But it's like, let me go ahead and knock the Caribbean off because it is, yeah. I, I do want to go to Puerto Rico. Um, where else do I want to go? I want to go to the Cayman Islands. I want to go to, uh, kind of want to go to the Bahamas. Kind of want to go to Jamaica. You know, I I don't want to go to the Dominican Republic though. I just don't. Oh, that's the one place I do want to go. <laughs> I, I I don't I don't want to go there because every dude I know goes there. They go there for some ass. And. 10 years ago, I'm all for it. But now I'm like, eh. eh. If that's if that's your selling point for the Dominican Republic, then I'm I'm good. Right. I'm good. Yeah, I just want to go because I, I love going and visiting different cultures. Um and plus they have a car culture down there that's very unique. Like mm. they got some really cool old school and in their newer rides, but you know, that's a totally different subject. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but one place I definitely want to go to is the Philippines. Oh um, yeah, Philippines, and I want to do um, what's the other place? Um, um, we were just talking about the Philippines. Yeah, and, um, yeah. Um, 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 was it Panama? No. Not Panama. Uh, I want to say it starts with a B. It wasn't God. Bangkok, was it? No, no. no. It no. was the Philippines. And was it Panama? Uh-uh. uh-uh. Philippines. I don't They'll know. They'll come back to us. But anyway, I, I, I definitely want to go there. And, you know, that... that Definitely is going to be in the near future, meaning like the next year or so. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. So um, let's jump over to Europe. Um, we both lived in Germany. Um, you know, the, the, the culture in Germany is kind of like ours, but it's a lot different. Yeah. Um, us and our melanated chocolate skin... We are like trophies and gods over there because they love us. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> but what I love about over there, like where Germany is situated, it's so easy to get to a lot of places, not only in Germany, but a lot of countries because yeah. a lot of them, a lot of them other countries is, is, you know, just like really short flights. Um, but yeah, living in Germany was, was, was lovely. I mean, the mm-hmm. weather was kind of like, you know, it wasn't too bad. The weather wasn't too bad. No, it, it wasn't. I mean, once you got used to the cold, and you knew it was coming, it's kind of like, ah, uh, you know, why why fight it? <laughs> yeah, and, and it really wasn't that cold over there. No, no, not at all. I mean, when it snowed, it was like a highlight. It was beautiful yeah. when it snowed. Just yeah. Beautiful. Oh, my God, yeah. And then it's kind of like you couldn't wait for spring to come back around. Oh, my spring goodness. Spring over there. Gorgeous. Lovely. Then summertime. Yeah. And then when you're talking about the snow, it's like if you ever went to like Heidelberg Castle or any of the castles over there and you driving and you see it in the distance and you see the snow over, it's like, damn, I wonder what that looked like way back in the day when that castle was like, you know, when they was really using the castle. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful over there. Um it, it's it's so much stuff over there that I want to see because it's you know it's a lot of it's a lot of history over there. It's a lot of sightseeing. It's a lot of stuff to see over there. Um, and there's definitely a lot of other countries I want to go to, especially as an adult where I could really really appreciate it. Yeah, like I, I definitely want to go back to Germany at least one time um, during my travels just to see how things have changed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, last yeah. time I've been to Germany was 2006. Um, because I had I came back from Iraq October 2005. My sister was over there in the Air Force, so I, I caught a flight over there and I stayed over there for like a month. Oh, wow! Um, yeah, I didn't do too much, too much, but I was able to go back to Mannheim. We went down to Mannheim for a day, checked mm-hmm. that out, and it was like, um. It was, it was, it was a weird feeling. Um, and I say that because when we were over there, we was like middle school, high school. Right. And when I got there and we drove past the high school, we drove past the bowling alley, the theater, the gym and all of that stuff. It seemed so small. It was like a miniature town. And it's like, I felt so huge. And I was like, wow, this place seems just so small. Um, it was, it, it really tugged at your heart because yeah. it's like, I spent so much time over here to come back and see it now. It's not what it was when I was here. And then now it's gone. It's like, for the most part, it's gone. They like, they, they redevelop all of that. And it's like, that's a part of my life that's gone. Yeah. yeah I've, I've been on the uh, Manheimers uh, site, on, mm-hmm. site on Facebook and to see some of the pictures that people are posting, it's like, wow. I remember when we used to play as kids running up and down those those corridors. Or Man. Being on a basketball court. Or, you know. or the path. Yeah. Crossing over the dang train tracks. Yeah, and then and then I remember when they when they um that I was there before they put that that there, um, and then on our street, Washington Street, mm-hmm. like on the back side, I was there before they put that sidewalk that went from one end all the way to the other. Oh um, wow! Yeah, that's a long ass like, sidewalk too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yo, bro. I mean, it's stuff like that. It's like it just it just hits you, and it's like, damn, I was here for the developing part of my life, and it's like, man, I don't, I don't know, man. I would love to go back to Germany. 
real like wonder years, as they say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the wonder years, man. Definitely the wonder years. Wow. But um, that's an experience, man. For sure. But yeah, um, it's the King and I Life podcast. We we was taking a trip down memory lane on that one. Um, For sure. Hit us up, www.kingandilife.com. That's the website. You find links to all our stuff, podcasts, uh, audio, YouTube, all that stuff. Um, again, if you listen on YouTube, like, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification. Um, if you're listening to the audio, they both correspond every week. So definitely check that out. So and so let. Oh, yeah. And you guys can always reach us at uh, K I N G A N D E Y E 369 at gmail.com. Again, that's King N I 369 at gmail.com. Um, I'm going to give you guys a little preview. We. No, I'm going to say I am going to put out a. A cooking challenge. Um, oh. I'm not going to say what the cooking item is yet. Because I got to oh. get all my ingredients together. But you guys stay tuned for that on Instagram. Because I'm going to post that video on Instagram once I oh. get it done and edit it. <laughs> oh. but, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to throw a challenge out there. And I want somebody to meet or greet or beat <laughs> what I'm doing. So. Oh. Y'all be on the lookout for that. We'll be back.